Hey guys, it's Joshua Peterson here, Peterson Electric, uh, doing a quick video for you. I think you saw in some of my other videos about two months ago, did a little bit of an underground. This customer put a hot tub, I'll try to show you the whole deck, on cement. And um, that's kind of the view, what a beautiful view of a lake um yeah so this was a temp power we're taking out to get them by but this pvc was put underground and then that conduit ran um and then this was put in here we put this in right there and just a little junction box because the wire uh, went out to the deck already so one of them comes from there in the pvc to here it just got buried with the mud and the other one comes up to here with the piece of pvc and then this one goes out to that dock um, that was done like ancient but meanwhile the issues they were having was that it went through 50 junctions in the house because the house was like 1960 all the way over here to the panel in that garage so we had to pipe some emt on the side and come around and then this was already there from the hot tub existing so all we had to do we did do our equal potential grounding 680.26 c i believe or d uh, we did put an outlet near the hot tub but not closer than 10 foot and not further than 20 in a gfi protection so all we had to add was this disconnect because the old one didn't work it was a hot springs schedule 80 pvc all under the cement code talks about four inches deep under the cement which is what the cement guy asked for anyways and then that popped up right over here uh, they said the tub was going to go a little bit further to cover it, but they changed their mind, as usual. But those are not easy. You can't do those underneath the tub. It's impossible. But then that came around and wired up into that tub there. And that equal potential ground ring underneath is right under the cement. And yes, you have to have that. If you do pavers or sand in a pit, you still could do it. Code is for cement, though. Um... But yeah, the two circuits came down here for this EMT, one to do the dock, and the other one here for this outlet for the festive lights on both sides that he's putting up. So the homeowner's doing a few of their own lighting, which is fine. It's just you can't have any lights above a hot tub. If you do, it's 22 foot. Most people put a festive light anyways. If you are, you better use a really tight aircraft cable so the wind doesn't take it down. So I just wanted to show you an overview of everything, how it all got done. Yeah, so there's a quite a bit of underground. Came here, it's been quite a few trips to get here. That little junction box, because that wire was too short to get to the house, was right there. Put turned out pretty well for the cement guy. He put it in. I gave him the box, but they got it put in right, pretty level. And then the outlet he wanted there for his barbecuer. And so I guess he's gonna finish up underneath all that deck in the future. So, anyways, guys, thanks for joining us. Uh, hopefully, help you out on those hot tubs. And we'll talk to you later.